Okay, so are you someone that thinks that fishing with uh, natural lures is cheating or somehow easier than fishing with artificial? I, I am not one of those people. Um, I'm not very practiced at fishing with live bait or, or even dead bait, just natural bait. I do all of my fishing with plastic and it's not because I, I, I think it's more challenging or anything like that. Honestly, it's because I'm lazy. I don't like going to the bait store. I don't like having to pay for shrimp. I'm a little cheap too. So it's, it's a bit of a pain and it's not really my thing. However, two of the three biggest redfish I've ever caught in Florida have been caught under this bridge I'm heading towards and uh, caught on a live shrimp. I didn't get a measurement on one, but man, it was so big, it snapped my fishing pole in half. It was a proper Louisiana size brute. So I feel like if I don't ever come and try this, then I'm never gonna have a shot at those really big fish. So uh, anyway, that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna head over to the bridge and uh, we're waiting for the tide to turn on. Right now it's very, very slack. I mean, what we want is that tide to get going. So I should be here in place, ready to go the second this tide turns on. So let's see, maybe I get lucky and hook something big. Let's see. See you later, shrimp. Have a good life. I didn't get even a nibble. I thought for sure I would get eaten by something. Um, sheep's head, mangrove snapper, something, but uh, ladyfish, nothing. Um, the tide has only just now really started moving uh, to where I needed any trolling motor at all to hold myself in the current. So I think really that was my problem. But anyway, I have a long idle back to the uh, boat ramp. So I'm gonna get started. Good morning, everybody. Um, we're, we're back doing what we kind of know how to do. Uh, last night, I gotta admit, that wasn't, that wasn't really any fun at all. The shrimp weren't even getting eaten into little bits. Usually, you know, the, the junk fish will eat them. But anyway, we're here. Um, we're back in the place where we kind of know what we're doing. At least we have a, a good idea what we want to do. We've had a week of warm weather now, touching up into the 80s. So I would think the water temp is coming up quite a bit. And so I would imagine we're getting very close to getting back to normal fishing conditions. I've been using uh, this swimming trout trick in this kind of pink uh, shrimpy color. And it's been working great for me. The real trick with this has been the speed at which I can fish it because I have this weighted head. So if I want to fish it very slowly, I can allow it to just kind of sit, rest on the bottom and the tail will just kind of do its thing. Or I can, I can swim it like a regular uh, swim bait because it has that tail. So it really is kind of, for me, it's like a hybrid between one of my normal swimming baits and like a shrimp pattern. And uh, so it's been very effective. I'm just gonna stick with this for now because it's been working. I mean, it's been working really well. So I'm, <laughs> we're gonna throw this some more. So anyway, let's get fishing. Go a little faster through here because I gotta control the boat. The crazy oysters, right, like right there. There's the fish. Oh man, this is a good one. Holy cow! All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let him kind of pull me. This is, uh, this is, Oh, he's, gonna, he's in the, oh, we're in the bushes now. Holy cow. Yeah, we can get him out. All right, he's not super big. 
I'm going to have to horse him a little bit because I don't know if you can see what's right in front of us there. I'm definitely going to have to have to horse him. Okay. I don't want to crash into this oyster bar that's right in front of us. I'll put power pole down, leave the trolling motor going. Got him. I got him. Oh, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Let me get that out of your mouth. Oh, got it right. Oh, look at that. That was barely in there. He's going to go. Tail right there. 20 inches. Beautiful little 20 inch fish. Um, I'm going to have to let him go quickly here because we're in a we're in a tough spot. We have an oyster bar right there and bushes right there, so we're going to have to let him go real fast. He's going to zoom out of here. No, he's going to go nice and slow. <laughs> Already, that was so much more fun than what we did last night. We're in a really tight little pinch spot, so I've got to get back on the trolling motor and get fishing. We have a pretty good, pretty good view of the oyster bar now. Okay, yeah, let's just have a look up in here. So I think there's a lot of stuff swimming in here. It just seems like with the water moving, they might want to be here. Getting the last snack in. Literally the last one. I'm all out. Man, what a, it's been, what a great bait. There you go. Nice. Right in the middle of the groove. Pretty close to right in the middle of the groove. I'm bouncing into oysters. <sighs> Don't you do that to me. Oh man, I got a little fish. And no chest camera. What did I catch? A miniature redfish. Okay, Minnie, come on. I gotta get you off. That's up. All right, number two. He is tiny. There he goes. I want to get mixed up in what's going on right there. Oh God, look at the size of this. this. I don't even know what this is. Is that a shark? That's a, that's a redfish. That's a shark. Literally a shark. I want to catch him. I've never seen a shark in here. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> I know I can't catch him. I know I can't catch them. Um, that's neat though. Okay, well I think that's gonna just about do it for me today. Um, it was a pretty exciting day. I would have liked to have caught more fish, but um, it's okay, it's okay. It was, it's a beautiful day, the weather's really nice. It's a little bit windy, but it's not too bad. And it's only 11.30, um, but uh, I, I wanna head back anyway today. So I'm just a little extra tired today. Uh, seeing that shark was very exciting. I guess I'm getting close enough up to the inlet where we're going to see more of uh, that kind of variety of fish. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I really like answering the questions. So, um, uh, and if you like the video, please give me a like and I will see you next time. All right, bye.